Do you want me to grab starting one? Hi, Chris Rossetti here from d 9 sportscom I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains? Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Using state-of-the-art bladeless LASIK technology, these board-certified surgeons offer better vision for you and your family. With 10 convenient locations, there's bound to be one nearby. Isn't it time that you lost your glasses? Call Laurel Eye Clinic or visit laureleye.com and schedule your free consultation. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Located across the street from the Clarion Hospital, Clarion Rehabilitation Services Incorporated offers a variety of therapies to get you back in the game, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and now aquatic therapy at the Clarion County YMCA. Clarion Rehab's CHAMP program provides a sports medicine option to local athletes as well, including providing certified athletic trainers to Keystone, Clarion, Clarion Limestone, and North Clarion, as well as a full-time ATC at its Clarion location. To find out more, go to clarionrehab.com or call them at 814 814- 4226-1356. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. With locations in Shippenville and Tanesta, Tanesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tanesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tanestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rockway, Pennsylvania for another edition of Allegheny Grill of Hawksburg High School Basketball and D9IntenseSports.com. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where you come for the food and you stay for the view. Takeout is available. Call today to place an order or buy a gift card. 724-659-5701. Check them out online at AlleghenyGrill.com. Chris Rossetti here alongside Dave Constantino getting you ready for Rockway versus Johnsonburg in an AML matchup. Here on D9 and 10 sports.com, we're inside the Freedom Investment Management pregame show. For all your financial goods, go to freedomwealthcoach.com. We're in the Rehab Center broadcast booth, chiropractors caring for health, the health, the rehabcenters.com with seven locations, including in Clarion and Brookville. That's the old English spelling of centers at the end, R E S. Game stream tonight brought to you by the Computer Guru of Leaper. Check them out online at thecomputerguru.net. For all your computer needs, our drive to the game tonight brought to you by the Warren Tire Center. Online at warrentirecenter.com. And, Dave, it was a smooth drive up here tonight. Yeah, much better than you had uh, last week coming home from Sharpsville. Uh, No Uh, question there. Looking forward to tonight's contest. First opportunity that we both have had to see Brockway and Johnsonburg this year. Both teams hovering around that 500 mark with Brockway two games above it and Johnsonburg three games below it. So, Pretty important game in terms of the AML standings. 
Yeah, the uh, the Rams uh, the Ramettes come in at a record of five wins and eight losses. They're one and two in league play. They're in the AML North. Brockway in the AML South comes in at seven and five, two and two in league play. This year, four out of six teams make the AML playoffs. Is uh, uh, Kerwinsville left the AML after last year, and then Sheffield not able to field a girls team this year. So four of the six. So both these teams very much in the mix. For a chance to maybe make the uh, the AML uh, postseason, but uh, tonight's game could go a long way for either one of the the, the teams here. Yeah, and we're getting to the point of the season. We're in uh, mid January right now, where uh, teams are are starting to kind of have that eye toward when we get to February for playoffs, whether it's within your own conference or heading toward the district playoffs. Yeah, no question, and uh, it, it really should be a uh, a good game. Let's take a look at some of our. Uh, players to watch brought to you by Pitt Bradford. Students at Pitt Bradford live and learn on a friendly, inclusive, and welcoming campus where they receive personalized attention and earn the well-respected University of Pittsburgh degree. Apply today at upb.pitt.edu. Dave, what are we looking at first for the uh, Johnsonburg Ramettes? Yeah, they come in with two players averaging about 10 points a game. Uh, Casey Staline averages about 10.7. Uh, she had a big week uh, this past week. Uh, she scored 16 points against Port Allegheny in a loss Friday night, and then had a 20-point effort and a 39-28 win over Kane a week ago. As far as Brockway's concerned, uh, they have two of the district's leading scorers in Danielle Wood and Selena Buttery. Uh, Wood comes in about 18.5 points a game. Uh, Buttery is 16.1, and Buttery just became uh, Brockway's all-time leading rebounder the other night, so um, it, it's a difficult task for Johnsonburg here, but um, you know, they have been playing a little bit better as of late, so I'm sure they're looking forward to the opportunity. Yeah, those players to watch, once again, brought to you by Pitt Bradford, where students love where they learn. Check them out online and apply today at upb.pitt.edu. And uh, whether that's for uh, the the, uh, the fall semester next year or, uh, you know, even maybe you're thinking about taking a, 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 a little bit of break after you graduate here in May and, Think about going up there in uh, in, in, in this time a year from now. Uh, you know, you want to check out, get some of that paperwork started. Yeah, and if you haven't had the opportunity, uh, you know, before Alexis uh, was was starting to get some interest in going. Alexis, there, folks, is one of Dave's daughters. In case you, <laughs> we had never been, uh, you know, to the campus since it had some major renovations done, and it really is a gem that's kind of hidden up there that a lot of people don't really realize it. It's, it's an absolutely gorgeous campus. It really is. I had an opportunity to, uh, to get up there a few times here. Uh, my, my sister-in-law actually went to and graduated from Pitt Bradford. Uh, just a really beautiful campus. Uh, you know, and it, it's, it's small enough that you feel like you're at a small town campus. Uh, you're in Bradford, so there's some stuff to do. And then only in New York, not all that far away either. So it's a, a really good location to uh, go to school. So again, check them out online at upb.pit.edu. We're going to step aside here uh, for a couple of messages. When we come back, we will have our Horace Man Insurance, George Pry Horace Man Insurance, coaches interviews. You're watching the high school basketball on D910sports.com brought to you by the Allegheny Girl in Foxburg. Framarelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Framarelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com wishing all athletes a safe and fun sports season from us at lularoe suzanne marie we're a clothing boutique located in brockway featuring a large selection of stylish and comfortable women's tops dresses layers denim and skirts as well as a line of men's shirts and children's clothing sizes 2 through 14. our website is open for online shopping 24 7 and we offer in-person shopping by appointment Connect online at www.shopwithsues.com or by calling 814-265-0183. 
At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we understand the level of commitment required not only in athletics, but in everyday life, and how this commitment leaves little time for finding lower prices on insurance or planning for retirement. That's where we come in, with a full range of tailored insurance and financial service products to make your life simpler. At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we are happy to meet with you at your convenience, in your home, at school, or in our offices in Butler or Dubois. We even have video conferencing options. Give us a call at 724 256 Five 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 zero. Back here at Brockway High School inside the Freedom Investment Management pregame show. It's now time for our George Pry Horseman Insurance coaches interviews. George Pry Horseman Insurance with two locations, including in Dubois and Butler. You can check them out online at agents.horseman. That's H O R A C E M A N N dot com backslash George Pry. Pry is P R Y. We'll start with Johnsonburg head coach Susie Grumley. We're here with Johnsonburg head coach Susie Grumley on the George Pry Horseman Insurance Coaches Interview. Check out George Pry Horseman Insurance at agents.horseman.com backslash George Pry. Susie, so far this season, uh, you know, how do you feel things are going for you guys? Um, season's going along pretty well. Had a few losses that I had hoped that we were going to be wins for us. Um, lost a few girls, well, about five girls to injuries, academics, so we started out with uh, about 13, 14 girls and we're down to eight. So um, that has plagued us a little bit. Um, one of your most consistent players has been uh, Casey's Stay line. Staline. Yeah. Like, again, I apologize, Casey. We will get that right before the end. Is Casey Staline. Um, just talk a little bit. You know, she's really giving you rebounding all year, Casey has. And then she really started to um, add the uh, the scoring here the last couple of games for you, too. Right. Kurt, Casey's always been the workhorse underneath for us. Um, she's not afraid to be physical and not afraid to be aggressive. She will go after that rebound and she is starting to put those putbacks in but also taking the ball to the hoop and getting to the free throw line so we need to be her her, her to be consistent in doing that for the for the rest of our games here yeah um anytime you play brockway obviously the two-headed monster of uh, selena buttery and uh, danielle wood is something you have to be prepared for what are you guys planning against them tonight um i'd like to stay within our game plan that we've been playing all year long uh we for our team, a zone works best for us. Uh, if we need to go to a man-to-man, uh, -man, we can. If we need to go to a, a box in one or a diamond in one, we, we are ready to do that also. We just need to limit their takes uh, one shot and hopefully we get the rebound and um, stop them from their outside shot and driving. Well, thanks, Susie, for joining us on the George Pry Horseman Insurance Coaches Interview. Again, you can check out George Pry online at agents.horseman.com backslash George Pry. At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we understand the level of commitment required not only in athletics, but in everyday life, and how this commitment leaves little time for finding lower prices on insurance or planning for retirement. That's where we come in, with a full range of tailored insurance and financial service products to make your life simpler. At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we are happy to meet with you at your convenience, in your home, at school, or in our offices in Butler or Dubois. We even have video conferencing options. Give us a call at 724 256 55 Five zero. Also had a chance to sit down with Dick Esposito, the head coach of the ball. Here with Brockway head coach Dick Esposito on the George Pry Horseman Insurance Coaches interview. You can check George out at agents.horseman.com backslash George Pry. It's P-R-Y. Dick, so far, how do you feel the season's gone for you guys? Uh, it's, it's starting to go well. We're going four in a row now. We're playing some good basketball. Uh, beginning of the year, our schedule was so front end loaded with tough teams that we're learning how to play now and play together. So, um, obviously, it really starts with your big two of Selena Buttery and, and Danielle Wood. What have they meant to this program over the last four years? It's it's just unbelievable. Um, not only what they have accomplished and how hard they've worked at it, but how the younger kids that we get them involved with just look at them and say, "I want to be like." Danielle, I want to be like Selena, and that's what we needed to get our program going again. Uh, it seemed like one of the real keys on Saturday against Carn City, though, was that Madeline Schmader had a career high in 10 points. How nice was that to see a third score? I know that's something you guys have been working on. We have been working on it, and it's, it's, it's kind, kind of coming to fruition now, and 
even with uh, Sierra Morelli coming in with seven, uh, we may get that third and fourth scorer, which we totally need. Well, uh, Dick, thanks for joining us on the George Pry Horseman Insurance Coaches interview. Again, folks, you can check out George at agents.horseman.com backslash George Pry. Thanks for coming tonight. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com back here at brockway high school special thanks to both Susie crumley and dick esposito on the george by horseman insurance coaches interviews it's now time for our keys to the game brought to you by all american awards and engraving check them out online at allamericanhq.com all american awards and engraving will put almost anything on almost everything if you're brockway I think you're looking to continue to build on the momentum you've had since the new year. They've won four in a row and five out of six since uh, the start of the new year. So I think you look to continue to build on that. React to whatever Johnson Berg throws at you defensively, whether it's, start, whether it's zone, man, uh, junk defenses, be able to react to that. For the Ramettes, um, I think you need to look to contain Wood and Buttery. Notice I said no stop, but you need to contain those two and rebounding is going to be a key. They're, uh, they're a little bit undersized, and sometimes when you play a zone, when you don't have specific rebounding duties, you're rebounding an area versus a person. Sometimes you can get lazy with that, so they definitely need to limit Brockway to, to one shot and try to keep the game in the 30s if they can. Yeah, it'll be, a, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, game plays out uh you know johnsburg had that big win over kane at least i thought that was a pretty big win for the ram mets there um last week uh and um you know johnson were coming over what i think is a huge win over current city really for them yeah and, and i think you know oftentimes how these games start out um it can be a confidence builder i think if you're looking for johnsonburg you know building off the the win from kane that you mentioned and uh, the Lady Rovers with a big win over Carn City here. You know, it does seem like they're starting to put some pieces together. They're getting contributions from, from all five. And, you know, even though, you know, you have two players that are leading you in double figures, someone has to pass the ball to them. Someone has to play defense. Someone has to rebound. And they're getting some contributions from uh, their other players. You uh, had, had heard during the, the interviews beforehand the other day from Sierra Morelli and Madeline Schmader. And that's going to be key as they look to try to win that district championship come February. Yeah, they were the district runners-up. Brockway was last year in Double A. Lost to Keystone over at Keystone High School, uh, and uh, you know they've got high expectations this year. And uh, really, when you take a look at that Double A field, it's really them and Clarion Limestone are, are the two contenders there. Um, if you uh, eight and four, if if you if you look at it, uh, are we getting a starting lineup change here or oh eight. He was mentioned their record is eight and four. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I have it. Uh, I was getting signaled on her. I thought, geez, I didn't do anything wrong already. Then, 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 I, then I actually, then I'm actually going to have to go back and look and see how I have them listed at seven and five on the uh, on the website. So I have it wrong on the website. We're going to have to definitely get in there and uh, check that out. But uh, usually, when I get that look, it's from my wife, and I figure, okay, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> um. I think we're going to have a played national anthem. If we have a played national anthem, we're going to have to step aside because of um, uh, the dumbness of Facebook and sometimes YouTube doesn't like some of that and they'll make a they'll, they won't let us in bed. So uh, we uh, we are going to step aside here. We'll we'll be back for your uh, starting lineups in a moment. You're watching high school basketball on D9 and 10 Sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rosetti here from D9 and 10 Sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains, then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. 
Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Using state-of-the-art bladeless LASIK technology, these board-certified surgeons offer better vision for you and your family. With 10 convenient locations, there's bound to be one nearby. Isn't it time that you lost your glasses? Call Laurel Eye Clinic or visit laureleye.com and schedule your free consultation. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River create some of the best views in all of Northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Located across the street from the Clarion Hospital, Clarion Rehabilitation Services Incorporated offers a variety of therapies to get you back in the game, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and now aquatic therapy at the Clarion County YMCA. Clarion Rehab's CHAMP program provides a sports medicine option to local athletes as well, including providing certified athletic trainers to Keystone, Clarion, Clarion Limestone, and North Clarion, as well as a full-time ATC at its Clarion location. To find out more, go to clarionrehab.com or call them at 814 814- Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service to get your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. With locations in Shippenville and Tanesta, Tanesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tanesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tanestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Back here at Brockway High School, Dave's got our starting lineups for you. Yeah, Johnsonburg will start out tonight with uh, Tess Kajancic, Maria Casilio, Anna Sophia Stoffer, Cadence Brechtel, and Casey Stelline. Brockway will counter with Sierra Morelli, Danielle Wood, Madeline Schmader, Selena Buttery, and Reagan Galnett. So as we're ready to go here. And just a word of warning to everybody, I'm in charge of the scoreboard again tonight. So hopefully it's a little bit better than last week. So Buttery against Stoffer, And Stoffer wins the tip for Johnsonburg. She's got the basketball, gives it off to... Brechtel, and then taken away there by Morelli, and then we're going to get a walk as Sierra Morelli, I think, is called for the walk there. Yep, nice job of getting the steal, just kind of took the extra step. Am I the there. pronunciation on that right, Dave? Brechtel? Yeah, Brechtel. Brechtel. So Brockway looks like they're in a 2-3 zone, but looking to trap out on the wings early on. Brechtel to trigger for Johnsonburg. Gets it in to Kajancic. Out now to Stoffer. Stoffer will look to set it up. Looks like we've got a Two three zone here. Lots of space to, for Johnsonburg to penetrate. Staline off to Casilio, but she has it knocked out of her hands, I think, by Buttery there. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball. Nice look inside. And lay up there by Casey Staline, and it's two nothing in favor of the Rams. Deline coming off two really good games for the Ramettes, looking to build off of that. Morelli, that's a two in the air, no good. 
Rebound is into the hands of Galnet. And then here's a three-pointer by Danielle Wood. It's way off the mark. Rebounded out by Stauffer. She wants to run. And Danielle Wood takes the ball away from her, but then tosses it out. And it's gotten by Casilio. And she's going to shoot and score and make it 4-0. And now we've got a downed Johnsonburg Ramette right now. Is that Stauffer, I think, maybe? It is. It, it is, is Anna Sophia Stoffer. She uh, she got a hit in the back. I was a little surprised there was no foul called there. Yeah, the, the play happened right in front of her where Wood stole the ball and kind of threw the ball behind. And I think we kind of lost the vision of what actually happened there. Uh, but a nice start for Johnson Burke. No question. Uh, Ramette's up 4 nothing. 652 mark as they continue to check out Stoffer. She'll get up under her own power. She's flexing that left leg, but she's going to walk off. That's a great sign there, Dave, that she's able to walk off under her own power here. Absolutely. And, you know, neither team really has a, a huge bench tonight, so I think neither, neither team really can afford to have so they're going to have to. They're going to have to put somebody in the game. Or did they? They did. They've they did. got uh, Natalie Dunworth into the game, number 40. So Johnsonburg does start out in that zone. So Wood will bring it across the timeline for Brockway. Gets it over the corner to Buttery. Buttery three-pointer in the air. It's good. It's a No, it's only a two. Their center foot was on the line, so it's four to two. Quickly into a trapping defense as the Rovers and throwing the ball away is Kojancic, so it'll go back to Brockway. So Buttery must have had her foot on the line over there. It goes as a two-pointer. Yeah, the ref was right on that. Uh... Yeah, that was way across the field for me, and I'm trying to run the camera and uh, – It'll be great tomorrow. We're starting to get some of our interns back, Dave, and uh, <laughs> won't have to do as much. Uh, the scoreboard is more likely to be more accurate and on time tomorrow. Good ball movement here by the Lady Rovers. Morelli to Buttery. Buttery drive. She'll get fouled. She'll go to the Thanesta Builder Supply free throw line to shoot a fair, to shoot a pair. And actually, they now have readjusted the score to three, Dave. Okay. So that foul goes on. Staline, her first. Boy, I don't know if that was a three, Dave, because I didn't. Did you see any any official lays their hand that it was a three? Uh, no. Yeah, neither it did was, I. So they must have adjusted at that first dead ball there. So it's four four now as Buttery makes the first from the tennis to Builder Supply free throw line. She makes the second one, and it's five four in favor of the Lady Rovers. Then again, in the full court pressure, defense is Brockway. There's Brechtel across the timeline for the Ramettes. Now into the corner for Casilio. Back to Brechtel. Inside to Staline. Staline's layup no good. Rebounded by Buttery. Here comes Brockway running. Buttery ahead to Wood. Wood is going to have it knocked away. Who knocked that out of her hand, Dave? I missed that. I believe that was Dunworth. Well, Dunworth will check back out now is good sign for the Ramettes. Anna Sophia Stoffer comes back in. Had an opportunity to do the um, parade um, for as the ball is stolen here. We'll get to that in a moment here. That ball is blocked off the shot by Kajancic, rebounded by Stoffer, and then it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Brockway basketball. Had a chance to do the Michael Shuey uh, parade. In, in Johnsonburg this year. Did it live. Uh, they put me in a, in a Jeep right in front of Michael. But uh, in the Jeep uh, right in front of me was uh, Anna Sophia's sister, who was uh, the Dairy Queen or something like that up there in Johnsonburg. Uh, she's at IUP now, and I apologize. I completely, Ellie, Ellie Ellistoffer, I think it was, and uh, is her name. And she's at IUP. Uh, she was going down to IUP. I think that was going to be her freshman year. And I was all excited because that was my alma mater. Yeah, well, and it was a great story, the fact someone from our district competing in the, uh, uh, in the Olympics. Olympics. Oh, that was that was such an awesome experience to, to be part of that parade and all of that up in Johnsonburg this uh, this summer. Great people up in Johnsonburg and uh, happy to be able to do their game tonight. Yeah, they've done a nice job executing against the press the last two times here. But yeah, that time Stoffer here, throws the ball away. Reigns 5-4, uh, 5-19 to play here in the first quarter. First quarter is brought to you by... The Laurel Eye Clinic. Laurel Eye Clinic, a better vision for you. Check them out online at laureleye.com. To make an appointment, uh, just go to the website, find the office nearest to you, and give them a call. Buttery three-pointer in the air. It's no good. 
Rebound is on the ground. It's going to be a tie-up situation and on the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow. It is Brockway basketball. And I think if you're Johnsonburg, you, you don't mind them shooting the long threes on there because you are a little bit undersized. Here's Buttery. Buttery loses the handle. It's on the ground again, and we're going to get another hell ball is Galnet and... Kajancic did a nice job of yeah. crashing down on that to, to get the tie-up. So on the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow, back to Johnsonburg. Brockway still in their full-court press, and then coming in and stealing the ball there was Schmader. She gets it off to Danielle Wood, and Danielle Wood lays it up and in. It's 7-4. to four. That was a nice dish that time uh, by Morelli. She's been, had two nice passes early on. Quickly down the other way, Johnsonburg gets it across the timeline, and now Soffer will set things up. I like this. You know, pull things out, get everybody ready and set. The, the, the zone is wide enough that if Johnsonburg looks to penetrate, they might find some success. Now Casilio has it taken away by Schmader. Here comes Wood all the way to the basket. She lays it up, and then you too can drive the lane with a used vehicle from Fran Morelli Sales and Service. Check them out online at FranMorelli.com. We're going to get a full timeout called here by Johnsonburg head coach. Susie Grumley will take it with him. You're watching High School Basketball on D9 and 10 Sports.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Back here at... Brockway High School after that full timeout. Full timeouts brought to you by Clarion Rehab Services. When life tells you it's time to take a timeout, Clarion Rehab gets you back in the game, offering a variety of therapies, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and aquatic therapy. Located right across the street from the Clarion Hospital, check out Clarion Rehab at clarionrehab.com. Had an opportunity to get up to Clarion Rehab here not too long ago, last Tuesday to be exact. Uh, get a chance to have them work on a sore pec muscle of mine. And uh, I got to say, they're, it, whatever they did worked, Dave. <laughs> and now Danielle Wood with the steal gets it to Schmader, back to Wood. Wood's going to take the jumper. It's good. It's now 11-4 to four in favor of Brockway. That's an 11-0 run. And now we're going to get a hold here. They're, see who they get this on. It's, it might be on Lauren Rendos who's into the game. No, they're going to get it on Danielle Wood. It's going to be Wood's first. Teams first, I do believe. And Johnsonburg was up 4 nothing, had that little timeout for that injury break, and since then, Brockway's gone on 11-0 run. Looking to get it in. They do. They get it into Kajansik, and then she has it knocked away by Schmader because it's going to out of bounds. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball. I like Susie, how active. Susie Crumley is a little bit outside of the coach's box right now. <laughs> she could get a piece of pizza while she's down there. Yeah. Balls <laughs> across the timeline, and here's uh, Casilio. Like Back to Stoffer. Stoffer, quick jumper, no good. Rebounded by Staline. Her layup, no good. The rebound goes off of Schmader out of bounds. It'll remain. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball. I like how active Brockway is out of this zone. Bringing all sorts of havoc. And now there's a shot blocked over there by Rendos. That was Stoffer taking it. And here's Wood on the other end. Nice job to pull it back out. Gets it to Buttery. Buttery goes back to Wood. Now to Schmader. Schmader back to Buttery. Buttery to Morelli. Morelli off of uh, Rendo. She's able to recorrel it. Here's Buttery, three-pointer in the air. No good. Rebounded by Staline. Nice rebound by Staline there. Seven-point deficit here for Johnsonburg. No, no time to panic. Stoffer across the timeline. And then it gets kicked out of bounds by Morelli. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball. 3.04 to go here in the Laurel Eye Clinic first quarter. Check them out online at laureleye.com. Yeah, Morelli do it, and uh, would do a nice job on this 2-3 out front. Putting pressure on the, on the uh, ball handlers. Pass inside to Staline. She'll go back out to Brechtel. Over to Stoffer. Inside to Kajancic for the layup. That breaks the 11-0 run. 
And it's 11 to 6 here. Good low post move inside that time by Kajansky. Morelli shot in the air. It's a two. It's no good. Rebound is to Rendos, but she's going to get tied up there by Brechtel. And I think on the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow, it is still Brockway basketball with 235 to play here in the Laurel Iconic first quarter. Yeah, the Ramettes have held held their own uh, rebounding this first quarter. Wood to Morelli. Morelli jumper on the way. It's good from Sierra Morelli. That assist, that Laurel Eye Clinic assist to Danielle Wood, and it's 13-6. to six. And now Wood with the steal. And Wood lays it up no good, gets her own rebound, though. Nice pass. Well, they're going to call the hold before the pass. Sombrechtel. 217 left here in the first quarter. 13-6. Wood with the basketball for Brockway. Pulls it out. Gives it off to Buttery. Buttery, three-pointer in the air. It's good. It's a Pip Radford three by Selena Buttery. 16 to 6 is a 10-point lead for the Rady Rovers. And then a ball was thrown away by Stoffer, just a little too high for Staline. And it'll go back to Brockway with two minutes left here in the opening quarter. Yeah, eight points for uh, Buttery in the first quarter here on two threes and two foul shots. Wood across the timeline. Wood over to Morelli. Back to Wood. Tries to go inside to Morelli, but stepping in front of that pass was Kajancic. Let's see if Johnson Burke can cut into the lead this time down the floor. Stoffer with it. Stoffer looks inside to Staline, guarded by Buttery, and then Buttery's going to get called for the foul. She got her. She was kind of hunched over. Instead of being straight up and down there, Dave, and that'll send Staline to the Tonesta Builder Supply free throw line, trying to build upon the six points that Johnsonburg currently has. Yes, yeah, Staline does a nice job posting up in the low block. Give a nice low center of gravity, and then uh, had a nice move to the basket. Shot is up and good, and it's 13 to 7. Three points on the night for Staline. Staline will get a second one here from the Tonesta Builder Supply free throw line. Shot is up. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Schmader quickly to Wood. Wood gets it across the timeline. Passes into Rendos. Rendos is going to walk before laying it up and in. Good look by Wood, though. Really impressed with how Wood sees the floor. And she's extremely quick as well. So you put those two qualities together. And she can score. She's a scoring point guard, obviously. Was leading District 9 in scoring at the last uh, score. Now they're going to get – she's going to draw the charge there on Brechtel. No, they're going to call it on Stoffer with an illegal screen, I guess. I'm not sure that was illegal. I mean, oftentimes, if the person falls down hard, they'll go the other way. I thought it was a good screen, to be honest with you. And I like the, the sportsmanship helped her up. So Wood will set things up with a minute 19 to go. Back to Wood. Started by Casilio. Wood now dribbles, penetrates the whole way. She lays it up and in. Another Fran Morelli drive. For Danielle Wood, for Amarelli just down the street from us here in Brockway. Yeah, the two-headed monster for Brockway. Both Wood and, and Buttery have eight points this opening quarter. Now there's a blocking foul. They're going to get, I think, Schmader there. That'll be her first. 54 seconds. No, they got Rendos on it. 54 seconds to go here in quarter number one. Team third. Cilio into St Staline. Staline, no good. Rebounded by Buttery. That's been said quite a few times over the years here at Brockway. She came into the game with 888 of those in her career. Another drive. Another Fran Morelli driving layup by Danielle Wood. You, too, can drive the lane with a used vehicle from Fran Morelli. Sales and service. Yeah, I like how Brockway, Buttery got the rebound, outletted it to Wood. Wood took it the distance. Jumper there. Nice jumper there by Stoffer. Her first points of the evening. Down to 20 seconds to play here. Wood looks at the clock, gets it across the timeline with 16 seconds into the hands of Buttery. Down to 13. Buttery picked up her dribble, tries to go inside to Schmader. Now back out to Morelli with eight seconds. She's going to jump her in, and it's good from Sierra Morelli. Down to three seconds. Johnsonburg's not going to get a shot off here in the first quarter. It's going to come to an end with... 
the home team, Brockway Lady Rovers, leading the Johnsonburg Ramettes 22 to 9. You're watching high school basketball on D9 and 10 Sports.com. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com here at brockway as we get ready for the second quarter second quarter brought to you by hunter station golf club a season pass from hunter station golf club in tennessee would make a great valentine's gift for that special golfer in your life call them today at 814-755-4558 to buy a season pass today also, ask them about their stay and play packages. Hunter Station Golf Club is located just three miles south of Tynasta. HunterStation.com. Dave, I don't know if you're a golfer or not. We've never really talked about that, but. Uh, I was a golfer until my girls grew up and <laughs> started to get involved in, in well, summer sports. And so when, when Lexus and Caitlin hit the softball field, my golf clubs went to the basement and have been there ever since. But I would love to get them back out. I was going to say, we might have to get them back out and go to Hunter Station this summer. Absolutely. I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I used to golf, but I, <laughs> you probably haven't golfed in 20 years and are probably still better than me. I, I used to uh, to belong, uh, like I said, when my kids were real, real young, and then I realized, you know, that time could be better spent with them. So, But now that they're, you know, in college and grown up, they have a little bit more time. There's... But the basketball is Stoffer. Stoffer has it blocked there by Buttery into the hands of Saline. She'll get fouled and she'll go to the tennis to builder supply free throw line. I really like the game that Casey Staline plays. Yeah, she does a nice job inside. She's going to draw the foul on Kaler. That'll be her first. Kaler into the game for the first time for Brockway. Sarah, Kaler. That shot is missed, though, from the tennis to builder supply free throw line. Staline has three points on the night for the Ramettes. The Schmader family, owners of Tynesta Builder Supplies, has a lot of that is in Clarion County, but uh, there's a part of the, uh, one of the brothers lives over here in Brockway. Looks like uh, Johnsonburg went back to the 2-3 zone. They experimented with a little bit of a junk defense toward the end of the first quarter. But... And now stealing it is stealing from Morelli. Morelli tried to bounce it off of her and wasn't able to do so. Across the timeline come the Ramettes. Just underway here in quarter number two, brought to you by Hunter Station Golf Club in Tynesta. Now Morelli's going to kick it on this end. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball. Yeah, Morelli is extremely active on this wing, Chris. As Valenti will enter the game on a substitution brought to you by Lula Rose, Suzanne Marie, and Marie, a local clothing boutique here in Brockway. Check them out at shopwithsuz.com. That's Suze with a Z. And here we get the outlet to Wood. Wood thought about it, and then she tries to pass it back to Buttery, who actually saves it. Wow. I'm not sure that was actually – didn't look like it, but she was able to save that basketball. And then on the other end, uh, that's going to be a walk called on Schmader. And it helped. There's a little nook in the bleachers over there. So when she went into that area, she didn't have anybody standing right there. So it was a little bit easier. The for fact her that, she, that her, their feet didn't touch the ground was, I think, what surprised <laughs> me there, actually. As quickly across goes Stoffer, And she hasn't knocked out from behind by Wood. It'll remain Johnsonburg basketball, 623 to play in the second quarter. Wood leads all scores tonight with 10 points. 22-10, 12 point lead for Brockway. Kajancic out the stopper, stopper three pointer in the air, no good. Rebounded on the weak side by Casilio. She gets it to Dunworth. Dunworth back to Casilio. Down to the hands of Kajancic. Back to Casilio. Nice job of Wood dropping down inside on Staline. I think they wanted to pound that inside, but Wood helped pick that away. Kachancic, Casilio, Casilio, jumper. Nice. nice kiss off the glass. Four points on the night for Casilio. 
Across the timeline, Danielle Wood for Brockway gets it in the hands of Schmader. Schmader tries to go to Morelli, and it's taken away by that, Dunworth. That's a tough pass to make. <clears throat> right idea, but just a tough pass to make. Stoffer across the timeline, five and a half to go in the Hunter Station third, uh, second quarter. That ball's kicked. A bunch of kick balls today, Dave. Yeah, Brock was very active out of their zone, extremely active. Call oh, a 30-second timeout here. Brockway does. We will take it with them. We'll be back after these messages. Wishing all athletes a safe and fun sports season from us at LuLaRoe Suzanne Marie. We're Clothing Boutique located in Brockway, featuring a large selection of stylish and comfortable women's tops, dresses, layers, denim, and skirts, as well as a line of men's shirts and children's clothing sizes 2 through 14. Our website is open for online shopping 24-7, and we offer in-person shopping by appointment. Connect online at www.shopwithsues.com or by calling 814-265-0183. Back here after the timeout, 527 to play second quarter. Johnsonburg will trigger. Staline to Stoffer. Tries to go back to Staline. It was a little low and... Uh, she needed to bend over about another inch and a half more to get that ball. Instead, it goes out of bounds. It'll be Brockway basketball. Johnson Berg has started both quarters out well tonight. 4-0 to start the first quarter and 3-0 to start the second quarter. Well, in the hands of Buttery. Now to Wood, back to Buttery. Buttery thinks about the three, now drives the baseline. Now puts up a tough shot. Nice she gets it hand. to go. That was with the left hand. <laughs> she she kind of like turned and... Uh, I think the Danielle Wood was like, did you see that, Danielle? <laughs> Selena Buttery going to Division II uh, Chaminade in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii next year to play tennis and basketball. I think they're the Silver Swords. As Wood, active hands again, knocks the ball out of bounds. Yeah, next year at this time, she won't be worrying about a foot of snow. I, to get to the I, I was to play. I saw it. We saw her. I saw her that Dave that day. We were over in Dubois right before Christmas, <laughs> and I just I, as soon as I saw her, I was like, I just called her Chaminade. I was like, Hey, Chaminade. <laughs> I, I told her she needed to stick around long enough for us to make a business trip out there. Yeah. I, <laughs> any chance of calling a game out? Yeah, there? absolutely. Here's a jumper by Dunworth. <laughs> Rebound by Staley. She lays it up and in. Six points on the night for Staley. It'd be a heck of a heck of a trip to do. I mean, what the heck? I got nothing better to do uh, this time of year. I'm sure. Layup by Wood, no good. Stay lean. I'm sure my superintendent would be understanding. I'll give I'll give Doctor Carrico a call for you. Explain it all to him. I'm sure there's no problem. He'd be happy I was out of the building. Maybe we'll take him with us too. Yeah, we could do that, but we don't want to spoil him. <laughs> Jancic with it gives it off to Casilio now to Stoffer. Stoffer in the corner goes inside to Staley, and she's going to be fouled from behind there. I think that's going to be on Gamnet. Yeah, I really like how Staley gets position inside there. She, she's caused a couple fouls so far already and been to the foul line uh, twice. Unworth to trigger the ball, gets it to Stoffer. Stoffer three pointer in the air, no good. Rebound though by Dunworth. Her layup, no good. Staley and Butter were fighting for it. It's going to go off of Staley. And out of bounds for Brockway with 3.45 to play here in the Hunter Station Golf Club second quarter. Dave, we have some games where it feels like the quarter goes by really fast. Why do I feel like this one's not? <laughs> We've had a lot of kickballs. Jumper there by Rendos. No good. Rebound by Gaunet, though. Back to Buttery. Buttery three-pointer in the air. It's a pit Bradford three for Selena Buttery. They lead 27-14, the Brockway Rovers. And that's her third three of the first half. She's definitely been dialed in early. All the way to the basket. No good by Stoffer. Rebounded by Galnett. Yeah, Galnett's giving them some uh, a good presence inside tonight. Wood all the way to the basket. She'll get fouled, and she will shoot a pair, as I realized that screwed up the camera there for a moment, Dave. 23. That's going to go on uh, Staline. That'll be her second. It's a, it could be a big Team foul fifth. there. Let's see what, uh, with a short bench, let's see what uh, Susie Grumley does right now. It doesn't look like she's doing anything other than leaving her there. Danielle Wood at the Tennessee Builder Supply free throw line misses the first one. 
her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Hey, it's better than going to one of the box scores. Uh, go to Tenesta Builder Supply for all your building needs. Check them out online at tenestabuilders.us. Second shot is up, and that one misses two, and uh, the rebound is off of Galnet as Kajancic tried to grab it and had it knocked away from her. Oh, back to that full court pressure defense is Brockway. Trap on the inside, or the first pass in the corner. Gets and the Rendo over. ends up getting the ball, and then driving the lane is Danielle Wood. She's got another Fran Morelli driving layup. From Rally Sales and Service right here in Brockway. Check them out online at framrally.com. You too can drive the lane with a used vehicle from Fran Morelli Sales and Service. She is so quick on that first step. You're pointing by Casilio. No good. Rebounded by who else? Selena Buttery. Buttery to Wood. Wood thought about the three. Instead, she goes there. Now she gives it off to Galnet. And that shot is no good. Rebounded by Stoffer. Stoffer across the timeline quickly. Into the corner to Casilio. Okay, 15-point lead for the Lady Rovers. About two minutes remaining left in the second quarter here. Side to Staline now over to Co uh, I'm sorry, that's Stoffer. Stoffer, no good. Rebounded by Rendos and trying to tire up and not able to is Casilio. Brockway looks to push. A nice job there by Dunworth picking Buttery's pocket. Her shot's no good. Stop for the rebound. She's going to get fouled. They're going to call it on the floor, I do believe. Going to get that one on Buttery. That's going to be her second. A little deeper of a bench for Brockway. We'll see if they'll leave Buttery out there with a 15-point lead. As it does not. Uh, no, they're going to. They are. As Dunworth comes out, as Brechtel comes back in, and then for Brockway entering the game back is Schmader. As Rendos checks out, those are your Lula Rose, Suzanne Marie, Substitutions, shopwithsues.com. That's Sues with a Z. Worked all with the basketball. If you're Johnsonburg, maybe you look to take it to Buttery a little bit with two fouls to see if she shies away from it, or maybe you pick up the third in the first half. Trying to go inside. Nice play there by Galnet to knock it away. And then what a beautiful pass by Wood to... Schmader, but she's not able to finish. And Johnsonburg comes the other way with a minute 15 to play here in the second quarter. So we'll see if they can get uh, maybe Staline another look here. On that time, there's a ball stolen by Morelli. Ends up at Wood. She's going to drive. She's going to score. She's going to have a chance for an old school three-point play. She did a nice job of drawing that contact. In fact, I think she started the whole play. I think even though the ball ended up in Morelli's hands, I think she knocked it away from behind there, Dave, into Morelli's hands and then took off. Yeah, and if she has a step on you, you're not going to catch her. So Buttery's going to check out as Kaler checks in. So with a minute three to go and up 17, uh, Dick Esposito's not going to risk a uh, foul situation there with Selena Buttery already having two. As Danielle Wood at the last Builder Supply free throw line that time, nothing but net. 32-14. It's an 18-point lead here for the Brockway Rovers. Selena's mom, Suzanne, I do believe is, was hoping to join us tonight. She is on a National Guard assignment. On, I think it's the Air Force, actually. Air Force Reserve assignment in uh, New Mexico right now. Uh, she's been helping out with the uh, with a lot of the Afghan refugees and uh, and stuff. And uh, she said it's been, I actually talked to her on Facebook a little bit last night, said it's been really a rewarding experience. Oh, and, and, and definitely, you know, thank her for, for all her support and what she does in that effort. Definitely not a. No, and, and you know, it, it's, it, it can't be easy missing, uh, you know, a lot of Selena's senior year and all of that. And, uh, you know, they had to do Christmas uh, remotely and things like that too. So um, kind of putting the greater good of the, country yeah and, and, a, and a shout out to her husband steve who's one of the assistant coaches here for brockway as well because there's uh five kids now the most of most of the five are old enough to take care of themselves but there's still a couple of younger ones there in the household also that uh eh, so absolutely not easy on the spouse you sometimes most of the time you think of the spouse as being the the wife but in this case the spouse is the husband different situation that you don't normally see as much of but uh just a great family all around. There's a jumper, no good. Rebound is on the ground. Picked up there by Galnet. Here comes Wood, quickly the other way. She's going to get fouled. She's going to go 
two. Nope, they're no, gonna they're going to get her with the offensive foul. 14, so that'll be Woods second. Yeah, with 8.7 seconds to go. I mean, it was the right idea. Just uh, got called for it. John She's Clark got two, to and back. they're going to try to get her out of the game here, too. They got Buttery out, and now they're going to get Wood out with her second foul. She's like, why? And, <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to pick up a cheap foul on defense here with eight seconds left in the first half. And quickly cross with six seconds. In the hands, here's Stoffer. Stoffer, long three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound is tipped away, and the half will come to an end with a 32-14 lead for the Brockway Rowers. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball on D9 and 10sports.com, powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxborough. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9 and 10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Are you looking for a great place to relax and enjoy the fresh mountain air of the Susquehannock State Forest in the Allegheny Mountains. Then the Potter County Campground is the place for you. Your outdoor adventure starts at the Potter County Campground with family and friends. The Potter County Campground can accommodate all your camping needs. Whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of their camping cabins, they have a camping experience for you. Open year-round, the 44-acre Potter County Campground is located in the heart of Potter County, God's country. Check them out online at pottercountycamping.com. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Using state-of-the-art bladeless LASIK technology, these board-certified surgeons offer better vision for you and your family. With 10 convenient locations, there's bound to be one nearby. Isn't it time that you lost your glasses? Call Laurel Eye Clinic or visit laureleye.com and schedule your free consultation. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Located across the street from the Clarion Hospital, Clarion Rehabilitation Services Incorporated offers a variety of therapies to get you back in the game, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and now aquatic therapy at the Clarion County YMCA. Clarion Rehab's CHAMP program provides a sports medicine option to local athletes as well, including providing certified athletic trainers to Keystone, Clarion, Clarion Limestone, and North Clarion, as well as a full-time ATC at its Clarion location. To find out more, go to clarionrehab.com or call them at 814 814- Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service to get your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. With locations in Shippenville and Tanesta, Tanesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tanesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tanestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Welcome back to Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Basketball on D9 and 10sports.com. At the half, Brockway 32-14 over Johnson Market. Time for the Potter County Family Campground Halftime Show. At the Potter County Family Campground, your outdoor adventure starts here with family and friends. We can accommodate your camping needs whether you camp in a tent, RV, or one of our camping cabins. We have a camping experience for you open year-round and located in the heart of Potter County. God's country. Check us out online at pottercountycamping.com. 
Time for our Pitt Bradford statistics. Students at Pitt Bradford live and learn on a friendly, inclusive, and welcoming campus where they receive personalized attention and earn the well-respected University of Pittsburgh degree. Apply today at upb.pitt.edu. Pitt Bradford, where students love, where they learn. Yeah, Brockway is led tonight by their dynamic duo, Danielle Wood. 15 points in the first half, followed by Selena Buttery with 13. And three point, uh, three three-point uh, shots to go as well. Sierra Morelli had the other four. For Johnsonburg, they were led by Casey Stelline, six points. Uh, Maria Casilio with four. And Tesca Jancic and Anna, Sof- Anna Sophia Stoffer with two points apiece. So those are your Pitt Bradford statistics. I want to remind you, today's game brought to you by Oil Country Crates, your product, our protection, custom-made crates for shipping and beyond. Once again, our halftime score, 32-14 in favor of the home team, the Brockway Lady Rovers over the Johnsonburg Ram Mets in this AML matchup. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching High School Basketball on d 9 sportscom powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com wishing all athletes a safe and fun sports season from us at lularoe suzanne marie we're clothing boutique located in brockway featuring a large selection of stylish and comfortable women's tops dresses layers denim and skirts as well as a line of men's shirts and children's clothing sizes 2 through 14. our website is open for online shopping 24 7 and we offer in-person shopping by appointment Connect online at www.shopwithsues.com or by calling 814-265-0183. At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we understand the level of commitment required not only in athletics but in everyday life and how this commitment leaves little time for finding lower prices on insurance or planning for retirement. That's where we come in with a full range of tailored insurance and financial service products to make your life simpler. At George Pry Horseman Insurance, we are happy to meet with you at your convenience in your home, at school, or in our offices in Butler or Dubois. We even have video conferencing options. Give us a call 724-256-5550. Here in Brockway, about three minutes before the start of the second half, is uh, taking a look at our kind of how that first half went. Uh, Johnsburg started off well, was up four nothing, and then an eleven nothing run by Brockway kind of set the stage for the Lady Rovers to end up building this eighteen point lead. And uh, it's now time for our keys to the second half, brought to you by All American Awards and Engraving. All-American Awards and Engraving will put almost anything and almost any everything. Check them out online at allamericanhq.com. If you're Brockway, I don't think you change a thing. Your pressure defense has been working well. You've done a nice job getting uh, defensive boards and pushing the ball forward with Danielle Wood. Uh, keep the pedal to the metal. Um, if you're Johnsonburg, handle the pressure. Uh, maybe look to get the ball inside. Do some inside outside with Staline and see if you can crack into this lead heading into the fourth quarter. So those are your keys to the second half, brought to you by All-American Awards and Engraving. Dave, what were your takeaways from that first half? Uh, <laughs> I was really impressed. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've watched uh, Buttery and Wood since they were freshmen. Uh, when, when Caitlin was playing and, and seeing their growth and development over, over the four years, uh, just – you know, very impressed. I'm very impressed with, with Brockway's overall defense. Uh, nice job with Morelli out front and Wood creating havoc. And then you have Gelnet uh, on the inside and Schmader doing a nice job of cleaning up the boards. Uh, very nice team. Uh, Johnsonburg, young. You know, uh, impressed with some of their young players. They, they, they start a couple sophomores and, and a junior. Um, they they kind of started out both quarters very strongly. As I mentioned earlier, they started out with a 4-0 run in the first quarter, 3-0 in the second quarter, uh, but the pressure kind of got to them. Yeah, the um, 
you, you can just tell where that's where some of the the youth starts to, to show uh, is, is sometimes when that press comes in and Rockway's done a really good job with its pressure defense and, and they're doing with experienced players yeah they're a senior laden team you know they've they've, they've done this before and and uh, you know I I think the future's bright for for Johnsonburg. Uh, you know, probably going to take some lumps along the way, but uh, love their work ethic, love the way that they um, have attacked the hoop when they've been able to get the ball inside. No question is uh, we're now getting ready for the start of our third quarter brought to you by Pitt Bradford. Students at Pitt Bradford live and learn on a friendly, inclusive, and welcoming campus where they receive personalized attention and earn the well-respected University of Pittsburgh degree. Apply today at upb.pitt.edu. Pitt Bradford, where students love where they learn. Start of the second half brought to you by LuLaRoe, Suzanne Marie, local clothing boutique right here in Brockway that offers LuLaRoe brand clothing. Shop with Suze.com. That's Suze, S-U-Z, dot com. Or call them at 814-265-0183. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram as well. So Danielle Wood uh, off the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow in favor of Brockway in here. Oh, what a move there by Selena Buttery. I love watching them use the left hand when they go to that side. And she's done that twice tonight. That is a Framarelli sales and service drive. Stoffer, a little jumper, just offline. Ball off of Casilio. Out of bounds, it will be. Brockway basketball. Yep. And I like the fact that Brockway's kind of pulled off the press right now. Work on their half-court defense. I think that's a good idea by by Coach Esposito. Buttery with the basketball. Buttery going to put a three-pointer in the air. No good. Rebound. Schmader knocks it out into the hands of Kajancic, and she's tied up by Morelli. But on the Potter County Family Campground, possession arrow it is. Johnsonburg basketball, 50 seconds in here to the Pitt Bradford third quarter. Yeah, Johnsonburg has kind of switched to a man-to-man defense the second half, see if that maybe changes things up for them. Salio back to Stoffer. Stoffer trying to direct some traffic. Goes off to Brechtel. Brechtel back to Stoffer. Stoffer will look things over. It's off to Casilio. Casilio now to... Staley way out by the three-point line. Into the corner for Stoffer. She dribbles, picks up her dribble, double team. Nice pass into Staley. Staley a little too strong on the layup attempt. Gets her own rebound, though, and then she's going to be fouled. If they call Buttery here, that's going to be her third. Nope, they're going to get uh, Galnet. Galnet on that call. Boy, I like how Staley works on the inside. She's relentless. Yeah, you can absolutely see why she's been their most consistent player uh, with what she's doing. And then she airballs that one from the tennis to build her supply free throw line. She will get another chance to build upon the 14 points that Johnsonburg currently has. She has a little chuckle. You got to like that. Second shot is up. And the second shot will roll on in. You got to love that one. You miss one completely and then the next one absolutely eh, goes in for you. I love her work ethic. She works hard at both ends. Johnsonburg comes out in that man-to-man defense here, looking to change things up here, see how Brockway reacts to it. Wood with the basketball. Wood drives the lane, lays it up and in on another Fran Morelli drive for Danielle Wood. You, too, can drive the lane with a used vehicle from Fran Morelli, sales and service. I love the spin she put on that off the glass. So quick, that first step. And then taking it away there is Schmader. Made her quickly down, and then she has it taken away by Stoffer. Stoffer wants to push issue. Cut off by Morelli. Good job there by Morelli. All into the hands of Kajancic. Kajancic off balance shot. No good. Rebounded into the hands of Schmader. Schmader cleaning up the glass here. Start the third quarter for the Lady Rovers. Wood drives baseline. Oh, reverse layup. No good, Schmader. There for the rebound, though. Fader back to Buttery. Buttery, three-pointer in the way. In and out, no and good. Schmader Balls again. on. And Schmader knocks the rebound out. Wood's going to pick it up. Schmader's had four rebounds in the last minute and a half. And now we're going to get a foul out here on Johnsonburg. Might go on Casilio. You're right. It is on Maria Casilio. Be her second. 5-14 to play here in 
the Pitt Bradford third quarter. Pitt Bradford's where students love, where they learn. UPB.pitt.edu. Yeah, I like the effort that Schmader's given this third quarter. There's what again? Oh, nice what pass. a pass. Let Schmader finish it. Oh, you too can see the court well when you go to the Laurel Eye Clinic. That's one of the nicer Royal Eye Clinic assists we've seen all year, Dave. And I was just thinking, you know, for as hard as Schmader's work, she needs to be able to tap this off by putting the points in the board there. And Wood had a had a fantastic no-look pass to her. And Schmader finished it off. You know, Wood, I'd argue, is maybe the best player we've seen all year, Dave. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the quickness she has, and not only for herself, but she creates for others. Very unselfish. Celia with the basketball. Gives it off to Stoffer. I think it's Celia now to Brechtal. Jumper on the way. No good. Rebound. Staline fought for it, but guess who? The woman of the hour here right now, Madeline Schmader. She might have a double rebound just in the third quarter alone. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Casilio to remain Brockway basketball along the sideline. 359 halfway through. The Pitt Bradford third quarter, 38 15 in favor of the Lady Rovers. There's Wood with it. Wood. She's going to get fouled. They're going to they're going to discuss whether this was on the floor or not. Be on Casilio again. They're going to say it was on the floor. That's a third on Casilio. Yeah, that, that that's a good call. It was on the floor. I'm going to get a timeout here called by Johnsonburg. We'll take it with them. 3.51 to play here in quarter number three. 38-15, Johnsonburg in the lead. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Out of the Clarion Rehab timeout, the Clarion Rehab Services. When life tells you it's time to take a timeout, you can get you back in the game with Clarion Rehab. They've got physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, aquatic therapy. They're located across the street from the Clarion Hospital, right up from Walmart in Clarion. Check them out online at clarionrehab.com. Had an opportunity, like I said earlier, to have my pec muscles worked on up there and uh, did a great job of uh, getting things loosened up for me. You know, Coach Esposito talked about before the game tonight about getting, you know, four to five players being able to contribute in different ways, and that's what we've seen tonight. You know, we've, we've seen uh, Morelli be able to score as well as create havoc defensively. We've seen uh, Gelnet and Schmader hit the boards hard. In addition to the scoring you get from uh, buttery Wood and Buttery. And wood. There's a three-pointer by Stauffer. It's a Pitt Bradford three for Anna Sophia Stauffer. Telling you, Dave, coming down, I, I love her first name. It's just a great first name. Yeah, it's five points for her tonight. Jumper here by Schmader. No good. Rebounded by Staline. Let's see if Johnson can make a little run here. Let's see if they can cut into it. Kojancic, no good. Rebounded there by Galnet into the hands of Wood. And Galnet did a nice job of just going straight up and not picking up a foul. And now Wood's going to get fouled. I think they're going to get this one on Dunworth. All the fouls on Johnsonburg this third quarter have been against girls that have been trying to guard Wood. It was on Dunworth. So now Grand Thinner. Get that right, Dave? You gave me that. And then. Or was it either Grunthaner or Grunthaner. They said Grunthaner. It could go either way. Into the game for Johnsonburg. First time she's been in the game. Here's Wood. She's going to get fouled again. My goodness. She's like she's like an automatic foul drawer. 
and that'll be the third on Staline. And yeah, I mean, it, it's hard because she gets that step on you and you try to stop her and go straight up at you. She has a propensity for drawing those fouls. Danielle Wood will be at the Tennessee Better Supply free throw line to shoot a pair, trying to build upon the 38 points that Rockway has. She does, makes it 39 18. Checking back in here is Rendos, is checking out will be Gownett. 18 points on the night for Wood. Ready for her second shot from the Tennessee Builder Supply free throw line. Danielle Wood, that one's also good. It's 40 to 18. Favor Brockway. Stoffer brings it across the timeline. Kind of gets into some trouble, gets it off to Dunworth. Now, Dunworth is going to get fouled over there. I do believe that's going to be on Morelli. It's just going to be the second foul here by Brockway. And Morelli's first. Madeline Bennett getting ready to check into the game for Brockway. Her first chance to play tonight as Schmader will check out. 2.42 to go here in the Pitt Bradford third quarter. Pitt Bradford, where students love, where they learn. Check them out online at upb.pit.edu. And then Wood with another steal there of the inbounds. Quickly across the timeline all the way. She misses it, but who's there to correct the rebound? The rebound queen herself, Buttery. And then Wood loses it inside. It's taken away by Stauffer. And now Stauffer's on a break. She'll lay it up, and it won't go, but Staley there for the rebound. She'll be fouled, and she'll go to Tanesta Bitter's Supply free throw line to shoot a pair. And that's going to go on Bennett. Her good. first, team third. Good follow by Staline there. So Staline to the Tanesta Builder Supply free throw line, trying to build upon the 18 points that John Smart has, TanestaBuilders.us. And she does. She makes that one, makes it 4019 Tanesta Builders with locations in Shippenville and Tanesta. That's her eighth point on the evening. 40 to 19. Gets a second shot here. Perfect from the line there and that trip, and it's 40 to 20. Yeah, a lot, a lot of time girls uh, won't follow up a layup because they just assume it's going to go in. But Staline did a nice job oh, following. Boy, the pass was actually too good for Rendos there. He goes right through her arms. I didn't think she was expecting it. If you're on the floor with Wood, Expect the ball. Kind of look like Dante Deontay Johnson trying to catch a ball on Sunday night. Uh, don't bring that up. <laughs> Dunworth with the basketball. He had more drops in the last three <laughs> weeks of the season than he did the entire season, and there were a lot of them. He had more drops than a uh, bad uh, bad cell service. Jeez. I'm going to get a 30-second timeout. We'll leave it here. Dave, want to remind folks that tonight's game being brought to you by Lula Row, Suzanne Marie, a local clothing boutique right here in Brockway that offers Lula Row brand clothing. Check them out online at shopwithsuz.com. That's S H O P W I T H S U Z.com or give them a call at 814 265 0183. Also, like them on Facebook and Instagram. That is Lula Row, Suzanne Marie right here in Brockway. Also, by Fran Morelli Sales and Service, where you can pick up a great Use car, have your car serviced. That's Framarelli Sales and Service right here in Brockway as well. You can check them out online at Framarelli.com. And, hey, while you're there, while you're getting your car maybe serviced, stop on over at Morelli's Family Restaurant, Dave. they got some pretty good food over there. Absolutely. That's one of the things I always used to look forward to when my girls had tip-off tournaments over here. We would frequent that place every time. Stoffer with the jumper, and it's 40 to 22. Anna Sophia Stoffer having a nice quarter for Johnsonburg. Seven points for her on the evening. Wood across the timeline for the Lady Rovers. Hands it off to Buttery. Buttery, long range three, no good. Rebound out by Rendo. She gives it back to Buttery. Buttery, great pass to Daniel Wood. She misses the layup. Bennett, though, there for the rebound. Bennett gets it to Wood. Nice job by Rendos and Bennett. Hitting the offensive glass for Brockway. Wood drives the lane. No good. Rebound by Buttery. She's going to get fouled. If they get Staline there, that's going to be her fourth. They might have gotten Stoffer on that. They did. Good call there, Dave. That'll be her second. So that'll put Selena Buttery to the Penesta Builder Supply free throw line. She makes the first. Checking into the game here for... 
the Rovers as Alexis Moore as Bennett checks out. So Moore into the game for the first time. 16 points on the evening for Buttery. Shot is up. Shot no good. So all nine players now on the Brockway bench tonight have played. Approaching a minute left in the third quarter here. 19-point lead for the Lady Rovers. Stoffer with it. Nice pass nice. to Staline. Staline lays it up. No good. Rebounded by Buttery. Buttery quickly ahead to Wood. Love Wood. That. She's going to get that. She's going to get one. They're going to get Stoffer for the foul. It's her third. 51.9 seconds to play here in the Pitt Bradford third quarter. 43-22 in favor of Brockway as Danielle Wood, another chance at Tanasta Builder Supply, free throw line. Great outlet pass that time by Buttery to hit Wood in stride. She makes that. That is a Laurel Eye Clinic assist for Buttery. Check them out online at laureleye.com. You too can see the court well when you get your eyes taken care of at Laurel Eye Clinic. Yeah, I like how Brock White gets the ball out and go. Rebound the outlet and look to, look to get some easy points off the fast break. Brechtal to Stoffer. Stoffer three-pointer in the air. No good. Rebounded by Selena Buttery. And off they go. Wood across the timeline. Danielle Wood to Buttery. Buttery going to try a three. No good. Rebounded by Staline. I'd say Staline's got to be close to double-digit rebounds tonight for Johnsonburg. We've said her name a lot. Jumper there by Dunworth. No good. Rebound. Morelli and Staline are going to tie up, and on the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow, it is Brockway basketball. Check out Potter County Family Campground at pottercountycamping.com. Wood in just fast motion. Lays it up, no good. Rebound, fought four and one by Buttery. Her shot, no good at the horn. As, uh, it was obvious there that Wood saw the time on the clock, and nobody else did. So at the end of three quarters of play, 44-22 in favor of Brockway. Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com back here getting ready for the fourth quarter brought to you by luton's plumbing heating and air conditioning need plumbing heating or air conditioning service in western pennsylvania luton's plumbing heating and air conditioning proudly serves clearing Venango, jefferson and armstrong counties find out more at lutonsplumbing.com again today's game being brought to you by the allegheny grill of foxburg the allegheny grill in foxburg where you come for the food and stay for the view Takeout is available. Call today to place an order or buy a gift card, 724-659-5701 on the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg possession, or Allegheny Grill of Foxburg possession arrow. Potter County Campground possession arrow. I see I got my, I'm all over the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. You got wings tomorrow night, Dave. Ooh, that sounds good. I wonder if we could talk Dewey into bringing some up to us for the game. Couldn't hurt to ask, right? <laughs> Can't hurt to ask. <laughs> So Stauffer's going to go slow here for Johnsonburg. Starting the fourth quarter, leading scores. Wood leads uh, with 22 for the Lady Rovers, and Staline has nine. Stauffer lost that one, ended up in the hands of Gail Nett. Across the Wood. Wood wants to push. Now she backs it out, gives it off to Buttery. Back to Wood. Wood's in the corner. Gives it to Buttery, back to Wood. Now Wood drives the lane, no good. Oh, great rebound by Schmader. Out to Morelli, Morelli just inside the three-point line, no good, rebounded by Stoffer. Across the timeline, she wants to run. She's going to go all the way. She's going to get fouled. It just won't fall for her, but she will go to the National Builder Supply free throw line to shoot a pair. Stoffer's had a nice second half. She scored five of her seven points here and has done a nice job at the defensive end. It's the first one from the Tennessee Builder Supply free throw line. Trying to figure out what it was on their shorts, Dave. I thought it was a heart at first, but it's actually a ram. <laughs> it does look like a heart. 
Second shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Selena Buttery. Buttery quickly ahead to Danielle Wood. Wood lays it up and good. Another uh, World Wide Clinic assist for Selena Buttery. You can tell those two have worked together for four years. Just instinctual knowing where the other person is. Christopher has it knocked away by Schmader into the hands of Buttery. Buttery finds Wood, who somehow or other controls it, and then gets a shot off and gets fouled. My goodness, that's a tough, 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 tough thing for Johnsonburg there. And she did a nice job of you know catching the ball in traffic. And poor poor Casilio. She picks up her fourth foul. You know, she she tried to, to get in front, but yeah, she's over there talking to head coach Susie Grumley right now, going, I don't know what else I could do, coach. <laughs> Shot by Wood from the Tennessee Builder Supply free throw line is up and good. And now checking back in here is Kaler as Galnet checks out. Second shot coming here for Danielle Wood. That shot's a little short, but Selena Buttery there for the rebound. Gets it off to Schmader, back to Wood. I swear you, you've said that time and time again tonight. Rebound by Buttery, rebound by Buttery, out to Wood. I think Buttery might have reached 12 tonight, possibly, get the, get the 900 in her career. I wouldn't be surprised. There's Wood. Wood, jumper from just inside the three-point line, no good. Off Kaler into the hands of Schmader. Schmader, look for Wood. <laughs> One thing Wood isn't is tall. <laughs> Casilio will get fouled by Schmader. Yeah, there's there's one knock to Danielle Wood. It's that she's not very tall. If you seen the look on her face, like, oh my gosh, I can't get to that. Her brother John was a really good player here, too. And uh, you knew they were brother and sister. They looked a lot alike. Cilio's free throw from the Vanessa Builder supply free throw line, no good. That was the first foul on Madeline Schmader. Cilio's first attempts from the free throw line. She has four points on the evening. She got a second one here. Shot is up, and that shot is perfect. It's 47-24. A lot of positive things tonight from Johnsonburg to take out of this game. What across the timeline. Folks, stick with us after the game for our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg nice player pass. interview. Is that it's a nice pass by Wood to Morelli? Another Laurel Eye Clinic assist for Danielle Wood. Pick and roll, and both girls stayed on Wood. Morelli rolled to the basket. Cilio three pointer in the air, no good. Rebound will go out of bounds. Wood lets it go out of bounds. Is Bennett getting ready to check back in on a Lula row by Suzanne Marie substitution as she checks in and Schmader checks out. 527 to play here in the Luton Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning fourth quarter. Buttery with the basketball. Buttery gives it off to Wood. A little give and go there. Then Wood back to Buttery. Buttery to Kaler. Now into the hands of Morelli. Back to Wood. Wood will set things up. Wood's going to take the three. No good. Rebound. Buttery and Staline fight for it. That's a girls' basketball jump ball there. And those two girls have been active all night tonight, so no surprise that they both come down with the rebound there. On the Potter County Healing Campground possession arrow, it is Brockway basketball, so another rebound there for Selena Buttery. Still don't like that. I want them to be allowed to fight for the ball in girls' basketball a little bit more. And no good, and guess who had the rebound? Buttery. To Kaler, back to Buttery, now to Wood. Back to Buttery. No good. Maybe they should contact Tanesta Builder Supply for a special kind of wood, like a buttery wood or something. <laughs> special tonight. No, you, know. you just wonder how long uh, Coach Esposito will keep them in there. Up 25 with about four minutes to go. May look to get some other girls in tonight. The basketball there was Adorani. No, no, no. All right, I'm, I'm going to just completely give up. Allie. Natoriani. Natoriani. Thanks, you, Dave. 
That's what we got Dave here for. I think two Italians would be able to pronounce that name, but that's even that's even too that was even the Toriani was even too difficult for me. My problem is people can't spell my name. I can always tell if it's a telemarketer. Toriani! Oh, oh and she banks in a pit rock for a three-pointer. She just wanted to hear you say your name. Ali Maturiani with the three-pointer for Johnsonburg. I was going to say, I can always tell when a telemarketer is calling when I get, is uh, David Costanzo there? <laughs> Costanzo. I'm like, I'm like, How do they get Costanzo out of Constantino? I know, but I get it. <laughs> Inbound there to, uh, to uh, Wood. Wood's going to drive, lays it up, no good. Rebound tipped around, and we're going to get another jump ball. And it's how's it still? How's it still Brockway ball off of that jump ball? We have so many Potter County Family Campground possession arrows. I don't even know who's got them anymore. There, Danielle Wood. She makes it. She'll go to the tennis the Builders Supply free throw line to shoot one, and that'll be the fifth and final foul on Casilio. As Dunworth will check in. Well, she asked, she was tasked with a tough task tonight guarding Danielle Wood all night long. And I tell you what, she, she did a nice job. I'd like to see anybody try to, to just man up on Wood here. So, she says such a quick first step. And Wood makes the next free throw and uh, just. That's her 1,000th career point, Dave. I'm going to let you uh, take care of some things here while I go get a quick picture. That sounds good. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see. You can hear the uh, PA announcer announcing that Danielle Wood has scored her 1,000th point tonight. Coach Esposito handing her the ball. Sierra Morelli bringing in a sign commemorating the evening. Yeah, it's been interesting watching the, the development of Wood over the last four years. Um, I can remember, uh, you know, since Clarion would come over here for the tip-off tournament, uh, been able to watch her since her freshman year and was always impressed uh, with her non-selfish uh, play. <laughs> Dave, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit I don't usually get caught by surprise when somebody gets a thousand points. That one kind of caught me off guard. Yeah, I I thought maybe someone might have mentioned it. You know, uh, tonight we didn't even see any signs in the gym that kind of kept them hidden. And well, they're gonna do some more. So I'm gonna go down and do another quick photo here. Yeah. So the other night, uh, Brockway had. Uh, a ceremony celebrating uh, Selena Buttery getting her uh, 888th rebound to set the school record there. And tonight we have Danielle Wood going over 1,000 points. For history's sake, Dave, that shot comes at 327 to play in the fourth quarter. Want to mark that down for me? Yes, you already did. Look at that. Now they're going to take Danielle Wood out here. They're scoring her 1,000th career point. And uh, that hasn't happened very often here at Brockway. For a girls player to score 1,000 career points. We're going to need a Dunworth. Here's Stoffer with it. Three-pointer by Staley, no good. That's going to go out of bounds. I was thinking it was 52. I was trying to add things up here. I'm like, wait a minute. How many has she scored? Oh. Twenty-eight. So, Danielle Wood, only the fifth player in Brockway girls basketball history to reach 1,000 career points. Joining Mary Barrow, Miranda Red, Leah Lindemuth, and Kim Tonich, which I'm pretty sure I probably messed up that name. 
A lot of those names are familiar. I can remember. When Mary Barrow graduated in 2001, 1,678 career points. Miranda Red, 1,259 and graduated in 2002. Leah Lindemuth, 2018, 1,090. And Kim Tonch, 1997, 1,066 career points. And now Danielle Wood, graduating class 2022 with exactly 1,000 points right now. Kohler, the rebound, and then it goes into the hands. And the nice thing about that, Chris, is when you're, you're able to do it at home. You get to do it in front of friends and family and, and your classmates. Here's a jumper by Noderani. No good. Rebounded by Buttery. Now the 215 to play here. And now ball, ball is taken away by Grunthner. A 25-point lead here. Adriani with the three-pointer, no good, rebounded by Rendos. And so now Buttery will bring it up the court slowly with under two minutes to play in the Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning fourth quarter. Buttery three-pointer in the air, no good. Rebounded by Notoriani. Thank you, Dave. She's done a tremendous job. She has. She's come in tonight, and she's looked to be offensive at the – at the offensive end here, and uh, defensively, she mixes it up. Allie, Allie N from now on this game, so I don't <laughs> mess up the name. I apologize, Allie. Uh, it's all on me. And, uh, ball is fought for. Whose basketball is it? I think it's going to go to Brockway. So uh, a little over a minute left here. 25-point lead for the Lady Rovers. Well, I can now confirm that Suzanne Buttery was watching the game, and she just commented on the broadcast feed congratulating Danielle Wood on her 1,000th career point. And there's Schmader all the way to the rack. Nothing. And Allie N with the rebound. The Toriani, right? Yeah, I like how she sticks her I do. Her She's neck. a really nice player. Like I said, I think the future is is bright for Johnson. Might be earning herself some extra playing time here. Absolutely. Stoffer, Stoffer, jumper, good. Set a nice game, down to 45 seconds to play. 52-29 is our score. That's uh, double digits for Stoffer tonight. Schmader. Off to Moore, Alexis Moore. Now to Rendos, now to Bennett. Bennett, jumper, no good. Rebound attempted for by Schmader. It's going to go out of bounds with 27.8 seconds left. 52-29 Brockway. Stick with us after the game. We'll try to get an interview with the newest 1,000-point scorer, Danielle Wood, who's going to be our Allegheny Grillo Foxburg player of the game. Three-pointer by Nodirani. No good. Rebounded by Rendos and then tied up there by Grunthinner, and it'll be on the Potter County Family Campground possession arrow. Brockway basketball with 15 seconds to go. Lady Rover's going to move to 9-4 and four on the season. And they're fifth in a row. Ball is knocked away. Here comes Stoffer with 3-2. Oh, Gives it off. Nice Layup is good at the horn by Dunworth. That'll count. And the game comes to an end with Brockway winning 52-31. We'll have Dave go and grab us our player of the game, Danielle Wood here. While he does that, we will step aside to thank a couple of our sponsors. 52-31 Brockway over Johnsonburg. We'll be back. Wishing all athletes a safe and fun sports season from us at LuLaRoe Suzanne Marie. We're a clothing boutique located in Brockway, featuring a large selection of stylish and comfortable women's tops, dresses, layers, denim, and skirts, as well as a line of men's shirts and children's clothing sizes 2 through 14. Our website is open for online shopping 24-7, and we offer in-person shopping by appointment. Connect online at www.shopwithsues.com or by calling 814-265-0183. 
Fran Morelli Sales and Service is a family-owned and operated used car dealership and auto repair facility that has been serving Brockway, Pennsylvania since 1976. At Fran Morelli Sales and Service, we stock a wide variety of used cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. You never have to worry about buying a vehicle from us with each of our vehicles in our inventory going through a rigorous inspection process to make sure that your vehicle is in the best condition. Call our team of experts today at 814 265 one three three zero and check us out at franmorelli.com here at brockway high school 52 31 brockway over johnson we're now into the tennis builder supply post game show with locations in chippenville and tenesta tennis builder supply is a full service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home tennis builders.us it's now time to name our allegheny grill of foxburg player of the game, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where you come for the food and stay for the view. Call them today to place an order or buy a gift card, 724-659-5701, AlleghenyGrill.com. And it's none other than the newest 1,000-point scorer here at Brockway High School, Danielle Wood. First of all, Danielle, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, did you know that you were close enough tonight coming in that you had a chance at this? Uh, yeah, coach told me yesterday at practice, and it was like, hey, you're 28 away. And I'm like, yeah. And I think the next game we play is away. So we're like, let's try and get it at home. So I went out there and <laughs> tried to get it. Um, how cool is it to become just the fifth girls player in Brockway school history to, to achieve 1,000 career points? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I This is one of my goals this season. And to get it uh, halfway through was pretty nice. I want to talk a little bit about your overall game. You're much more than just a scorer. Uh, you, you threw some some passes that were no look tonight. Uh, do some other, you know, your, your defense is, it makes you one of the top defensive players probably in all of District 9. Talk about how much work you've put into some of the other aspects of your game. Um, yeah, it's really important because if I'm not on shooting, I know I can do other things to help my team win. And that's what I've been more focusing on because I know I can score. So. Um, you know, to, to do it with uh, Selena out there, the two of you have uh, been playing basketball for probably as long as you can remember at this point. <laughs> I think uh, like second grade. <laughs> to see her set the school rebounding record uh, on Saturday and, and have her moment in the sun and then you to get a thousand points. How special is this to both of you guys? Yeah, it's really special. Um, we've always talked about breaking records in varsity and it's just really cool to go out there and do it. Well, congratulations, Danielle, on uh, scoring 1,000 points. I'll let you go and celebrate some more here. But uh, congratulations on being, being named the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game. Yes, thank you. That is Danielle Wood, the newest 1,000-point scorer here at Brockway with 28 points tonight, exactly 1,000 career points as Dave remembers to wipe off the headphones this time. <laughs> One of these times I'll remember to bring a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, let's take a look at those final statistics brought to you by the University of Pittsburgh at Bradford. Students at Pitt Bradford live and learn in a friendly, inclusive, and welcoming campus where they receive personalized attention and earn the well-respected University of Pittsburgh degree. Apply today at upb.pitt.edu. Pitt Bradford, where students love where they learn. Yeah, the Lady Rovers were led by our Allegheny Grill player of the game, Danielle Wood. Uh, 28 points, followed by Selena Buttery, 16. Sierra Morelli finished with six, and Madeline Schmader with two. For Johnsonburg, they were led by Anna Sophia Stoffers. One of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of Northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Thanks. Hey folks, that'll wrap it up from here. Once again, final score 51-32 in favor of Brockway, Danielle Wood, the newest 1,000-point career scorer here at Brockway High School, getting right at the 1,000-point mark uh, with, what was it, three, 227 to play. 327. 327 to play in the fourth quarter with her 28th point. Congratulations to Danielle. Dave and I will be back with you tomorrow night from Clarion High School in a rivalry game as Clarion takes on Clarion Limestone. Until then, for Dave Constantine, this is Chris Rossetti saying good night. with the